one city that symbolizes China's breakneck speed of growth over the last 20 years, it's this one, Shanghai. It was once Asia's busiest trading port, but its luster faded up until the 1990s. And then that skyline appeared, and the greatest urban transformation the world had ever seen had begun. This land is your land. Today, Shanghai boasts more buildings higher than 400 meters than any other city in the world. Its motto appears to be bigger, better, bolder. And now there's a new kid on the block. Still a work in progress, the two and a half billion dollar Shanghai Tower will trump the lot when it opens at the end of 2014. So I'm standing right now on the 101st floor of what will become the second tallest building in the world. By 2016, China will have more skyscrapers than anywhere else. Five years in the making, the twisting asymmetrical structure of the Shanghai Tower is designed to maximize efficiency and minimize the effects of strong gales and potential earthquakes. The most difficult building in the world right now. So the design of the building is very complicated. When this building is finished, when you saw that building finished, yeah. which you also worked on, yeah, right. how did you feel when you went to bed yeah. that night? When, right. How did you feel? Yeah. So <laughs> I thought I had a bad time to build that building. And then I come here and I know there was nothing. But some observers wonder if this obsession with supersizing everything in Shanghai, and the rest of China for that matter, is to do with face, the need to show prestige. We built this building with the Chinese engineers, and then we have uh, all Chinese workers to build this building. And this is the most complicated building. So we feel so much uh, glory. This triumvirate of skyscrapers best defines the heights of the city's ambition. Like successive generations of a family, each has towered above its predecessor. And it certainly seems, for tourists, this is Shanghai's calling card. Uh, I think for a lot of the history here in China, we've gone to other places like Beijing and Xi'an, which, you know, have much more to show. But, you know, this city has an amazing skyline. More interesting is the skyline. When men are trying to be in God, they're trying to touch the sky. But new construction in a crowded city almost inevitably means demolition and upheaval too. And relatively short though it may be, that threatens Shanghai's historical legacy. This entire neighborhood has been demolished. Uh, before the demolish, my family was living here and uh, my grandma was uh, uh, living for her entire life. Howland Shu was born and brought up here. He's seen the neighborhood come down, and today he's watching it transforming into a huge commercial complex. The city might say, well, that is progress. It's going to make big business, big money. Is it good? Money-wise, some people were making lots of money. But uh, the meanwhile, you know, the, the, the community has been dismantled. It's easy to build a building, mm. but it's, it's, it's very hard to build, build the community. Now, some people say that the way that the whole city has changed, it has ruined local neighborhoods that used to exist, the heritage, the history, and that Shanghai has no soul because of these tall buildings. The Shanghai Tower have a very unique soul that gave the sample of the future high rise in anywhere in the world. As the skyscraper in Shenzhen, and the pipeline construction of the world's first one kilometer high superstructure.
Look to your left. 